I'm Sanjay Mohai, architect from Mindspace. Uh, this is the ninth edition of uh, the drawing board competition sponsored by Rohan Bader's. We have been getting amazing response. There have been so many participations and every year it is becoming more and more exciting, more participation. So this year we have chosen this site in Madurai. The site is between these two exciting monuments. One is Minakshi Temple, which all of you know about. And then there is one palace which is called Tirumal Nayakar Palace. When I visited that site for the first time, it was quite amazing. You walk through these very narrow lanes and you encounter these huge 10 columns in one row, something which you don't expect. You know, it's like a fairy tale where a boy gets lost and suddenly opens a door and finds something, you know, treasure within that room. This is almost like that, you know, discovering a treasure on that street. I had been to this Luxor temple in Egypt almost 40 years back. And uh, in the afternoon, I was alone in that, you know, looking through these columns. And when I saw this, which is hardly a four meter wide space, this is almost like a metaphor, you know, where you see those columns and you imagine yourself to be in that Luxor temple. It really transports you there. And till the time somebody on the bike honks and then you suddenly look up and say, oh, I am in this space. So, so it creates that amazing kind of experience uh, of transporting you beyond that four meter wide street into something much more divine, much more, uh, you know, powerful. So that's what something which made us choose this site. Secondly, these columns were constructed in about 1600, so almost like 400 years back. So the moment you see this, the history gets triggered. You start imagining how that space must have been, how, what kind of context would have been there. The third thing is the incompleteness of that. You just see the columns and nothing else. And then you start imagining, how do you complete this picture? And each one of us, you know, complete, try to imagine it in mind and complete in so many different ways. And that's what creates that very powerful kind of situation. These columns are surrounded by houses and shops on either side. It was supposed to be a silk thread which used to happen there historically. So most of the shops are connected with the silk industry. We would like to sort of retain that relationship as well. Right now, those columns feel absolutely trapped between that space, those houses. And they're almost asking to be liberated, asking for that some open space around. So how do we create that? How do you create that openness, uh, you know, release them and, uh, you know, create that kind of ambience, yet keep that relationship between that old silk, you know, shops and those columns, the history, the, the connections, you know. That is one of the biggest challenges that uh, we have to tackle. One of the things what we were looking at that this is such an important monument, but somehow it doesn't get noticed. So when you create this heritage walk between these two monuments, can the heritage walk go through this space covering these 10 columns? And you create a pause point in that process of that heritage walk and give extra importance to that. So we have done some exercise to, to see how many shops could be removed, how many to be re retained. And within that fabric, you have to create that experience where you actually admire, uh, you know, the presence of that grandeur. And that's the skill, that's the challenge that you have. Beyond that, um, I would like Shweta to explain uh, the entire problem in detail in terms of how the entire configuration would be. I'm Shweta from Mindspace Architects. So this year, drawing board uh, competition site is located in Madurai. This is the Pathathon Lane or the Ten Pillar Street, which is located to the north of the Tirumar Nayakar Palace. These pillars have a very rich uh, history. Located within the premises of the Swarga Vilasam Palace, which is now the Tirumar Nayakal Mahal. The Patutun was a part of Ranga Vilasam built to accommodate Tirumal Nayakar's younger brother. The 10th pillar street is off one of the streets which is connecting the temple and the palace. So as one walks into this lane, they just stumble upon these uh, 10 pillars and 
one wonders why these pillars are there what are these pillars for these 10 pillars are the remnants of the palace that survived after kingdom's headquarters moved to trichy the street which gets its name from these pillars features a row of 10 granite pillars along a roughly 4 meter wide thoroughfare the densely populated buildings along the street on small plots are typically ground plus two uh, structures. Ground floor has retail establishments. The upper floors are all residences. The pillars are made from stacked round granite stones standing 12 meters high with a circumference of 1.2 meters. One of these pillars features an embossed shivlingam sculpture with a niche for lighting the lamps. So the design brief is to redesign all these uh, buildings which are indicated in blue hatch along the 10 pillar street. Uh, this is to make these 10 pillars a very integral part of the city fabric. The rest of the structures have to be untouched and have to be retained as it is. And these plots are connected with some of these very narrow lanes which measure about one and a half meters. And also there's a courtyard in, tucked in between these plots. So each of these plots, the ground coverage will be 50% with an FSI of one and a half. And the height cannot exceed 12 meters. It can be ground plus two floor structure. And the ground floor has to be predominantly a public activity with such as weaving or which emphasizes the silk weaving or the retail uh, part. Upper floors can be residences. So by opening up these structures, the idea is to make these pillars a part of the heritage walk connecting the palace and the temple. So when we formulated this problem, uh, we are all very excited about it. That small space has so much energy, so many possibilities. And uh, we want you to really get into that, find out different solutions and come out with something amazing. The way students have been doing it for the last eight years and coming out with some amazing solutions. So wishing you all the best. Thank you so much.